Whether it was the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters or Batgirl, kids were ready to fill their buckets and bags with candy. I like going house to house and getting the candy. Sunday night, parents and their kids dealt with the rain and chilly weather as they trick-or-treated in Rye, a perfect opportunity for local police to remind everyone going door-to-door -to, -door to keep safety at the forefront while they're having fun. A lot of roads in town don't have sidewalks, you know, so there isn't a large shoulder for them to, you know, for the pedestrians to walk. So, you know, we are concerned about that, but if everyone takes their time and thinks and looks both ways before crossing the street, I think everyone will have a good time. In Portsmouth, where kids were also trick-or-treating Sunday night, police posted this list of ways to stay safe, like wearing costumes with visible colors or sticking reflective tape to your costume, carrying a flashlight, staying on the sidewalk, and respecting other people's property. And before your kid dives into their candy collection, make sure you check their pile of sweets for anything out of the ordinary. I like candy too, you know, wait till you get home, take a look at it, have your parents look at it, make sure nothing looks, you know, suspicious, altered, anything like that, you know. Biggest thing, we want everyone to have a good time tonight and be safe. And as more towns prepare to celebrate Halloween tomorrow, parents will be keeping a close eye on their ghosts, goblins, and princesses piling up the candy. Come on, make the best of it. Have fun with your family. And you can find a full list of trick-or-treat times on our website, WMUR.com. It includes dates and times for cities and towns all across the state.